Alright, how's it going? This is Cole Rolf, and welcome back to RimWorld. So we've got a group of travelers passing by, and Harry just finished research on cocoa plants. Or trees. So... Hmm. Let's try that out. Might as well. Let's do a growing zone over here on this rich soil. Um... And... There. That was enough. Whatever. Let's see. Coca tree. Let's set that up and start growing some chocolate for ourselves. Who knows how much we'll actually recover, but... Um, yeah, why not? Give our uh, colonists something to do. There's a lot of idle colonists these days. I looked up on the wiki about uh, deep drill and didn't realize that... Um, yeah, so it's not different types of deposits, or they could be different types of deposits, but the yellow is slightly depleted and green is uh, a rich resource, I guess you could say. Yeah, size kind of depends on um, what's there. Like, different deposits are different size. Okay, cool. Good jade sculpture. Grand sculpture at that. Yeah, so, okay, good. Now it is, um, it's powered now, so I'll mine out that silver. Alright. And, yeah, we're already growing these trees. Good stuff. Yeah, so, again, has been the focus the last little while is growing, not growing, making advanced components. So we're working on components, basically got everything except for the advanced components in here. And our Psychic Sooth is ending, oh well. Yeah, we gotta get off this planet. The, um, the bonuses are getting shorter, and the, um, like the Psychic Sooths are not lasting as long, and the, um, the events are getting a little bit harder. Cassandra is continuing continuing to rack things up. Ratchet things up. Man. In trouble with my words. Excellent commentary going on here. <laughs> so I did run some numbers between episodes and we'll definitely need more plast steel to build all the advanced components. So here's hoping that um Starvation. Quing, can we get something to eat? There's lots of food. <laughs> Unless you probably just woke up really hungry. Um, yeah, so... You know, it's always... It's always gonna be a little bit faster to buy advanced components. But, yeah, until we get... That stuff done... What is... Cowboy hat? Oh, okay. Building more cowboy hats. Alright, I guess someone's worn out. But yeah, it's definitely going to be faster to buy advanced components, but... I don't usually get a f that many at a time. We still need a whole bunch. Uh, let's see, Paul does have inspired surgery still. So maybe... Uh, I was looking through the colonists, because we've got um, a bionic leg. Maybe we'll give it to Buffy. She is our melee combatant, uh, suffering from a little bit of minor pain uh, due to her injuries, so maybe... And she's not a, a prostiophobe. Yeah. We don't have any transhumanists in the colony either. I was looking at that, and um, yeah. So, no one that we can give that to. Give a bionic part to for a buff. But, yeah, I think we'll give it to Buffy. Might as well. David also has Inspired Surgery. Alright. Um, okay, I'd rather Paul keep working on this. What's your medical five? Yeah, no thank you. <laughs> Let's get this set up for Buffy. Um, Paul, there you go. We'll just turn everyone off. And then set up the 
operation for you, left leg, install bionic leg, left leg. There you go. Oh no, Labrador Retriever's join. <laughs> uh, Cassandra is offended that I accidentally sold off Cassandra, so now uh, we have labs. Uh, oh yeah, I shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, here they come. Okay, how many animals did we get? We got Hannibal, a Juniper, Masao, and Show Off. <laughs> Uh, alright. Well, maybe we'll keep one of them. Um, no, we should probably sell them all off because we're going to have trouble making all the advanced components. Uh, no one's bonded yet, so... Oh, there's a... Oh, that's right, the traveler's passing by. Hello! Okay. I've forgotten what I was talking about a moment ago. Um... Yeah, completely skipped my mind. <laughs> Is anyone working on this yet? A little bit. Someone's working on it a tiny bit. Alright. Well, it looks like we're making Niels furiously again, so that is good. But, yeah. What else can we do to make money? Make some coin. Um. Well... We've got some labs that we can sell. <laughs> uh, I guess we could go back to taming animals. I mean, it seems a little silly since we just recently uh, sold off all our animals, but... Oh, Paul, what are you doing? Buffy's waiting. Where are you? Paul... There you go. Paul! No. Let's, um... Not arrest Buffy, let's complete the, oops, complete the surgery. Prioritize operating on Buffy so she can get a normal night's sleep. She's just kind of lying there waiting for the operation. And this should, um, yeah, this should help out Buffy a little bit. I guess technically you don't need it. One thing I did notice, and it's kind of appropriate, I guess, and um, actually this is kind of a thing about this is Buffy's son working on her. Oh, we've got a raid. Oh boy. What just happened? What was that noise? Mechanoids have dropped right on top of us. Oh no, they're right here. Okay. Well, this is the probably worst time for this. Um, I'll finish that story later once we deal with this raid. Um, everybody up. Well, I guess not Buffy because you can't. Everybody up, and let's get over here. Um, and let's have, actually, Lindsay. Yeah, sure, making meds. Uh, let's have the non-combatants. Playing horseshoes. No, that's not going to be a good thing to do. Let's, let's have you... Oh, Lexi's doing that. Okay, well... Let's just have you sit and wait, Paul, over here, because I'm sure there's going to be some injuries. And Wen Quing, yeah, let's get you over here as well, just out of the way. One, two, three, four. All right, let's get out of here, guys. Let's get out of the way. Let's slow time down a little bit. And okay, these guys are going to start busting stuff up. Let's get you three over here and take this one down quickly and yeah attack the uh, that guy like that okay and then we're gonna have you come around uh, Dana's gonna be over here and you guys are gonna set up all over here all yeah all over here so when they come out uh, let's see, Dana move up. Uh, actually, we'll have Leslie move back. Yeah. There we go, and have these guys come in here and take this guy out. There we go. 
I'm just worried about the Scyther in here. I don't really want these guys to fight the Scyther, but might have to have Dana hold the door open and draw them out. Let's have you guys come over here then. There we go. Um, you can attack that one as long as the Scyther doesn't notice you. Nope, the Scyther noticed you. Let's get back over here. Come on, go quickly. And... okay. Let's have you guys come up and fight that one. And the Scyther will be at range. Good. Well, got a lot of mess now. <laughs> Wen Quing and Paul, you guys can do whatever you want. Um, but Paul, you can tend to people, right? No, nope. Paul, because we find me out. No, let's tend to Harry. And a few people are going to have to sleep somewhere else for a little bit. Um, oh yeah, Paul's our only doctor. Oops. There we go. Krika, what are you up to? Hauling Lancer? No, you are going to you're going to tend to Dana. All right. Well, we'll get this stuff cleaned up. Get these beds made again. Let's move these things out. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can go too too badly. Got some more components. <laughs> uh. Let's see. We are working on this, but no one's worked on it recently. Okay. Hmm. Well, oh good, thank you, Eel, for putting these items. If you could actually prioritize working on the bed, yeah. And the other stuff, you know, it's nice, but not too needed. But the, um, the bed, that's the main thing. Well, and I guess getting these, uh, chunks out, because that will really upset people, because they look quite ugly. Alright, you guys, right arm, crack, and hairy, some bruising, good. Not too badly injured. And Buffy, your leg operation went fine. Oh yeah, that reminds me, that's, that's the story I was going to tell. So as I was looking around the colonists in between episodes, seeing who might uh, be able to use the bionic leg, I noticed that Paul is a body purist, so he won't, he doesn't like artificial parts at all, but not only being a great doctor, he's a, he was a, prosth a prosthetic surgeon, so literally his job was to, he, had a, he has a talent for prosthetics. <laughs> Although he's a body purist, he hates it himself, but he's okay with with uh, installing them in others. Um, yeah, okay, I guess. Uh, it's not a, uh, it's not a comment on the game. I think sometimes people are just like that. Kind of strange, but anyways, I thought that was funny. Oh, and Buffy is up and running again. Hey guys, what happened? Oh, just some mechanoids dropped in on us. Handled it fine. Item stash request, AI Persona Core. Well, it's a lot of money, but we don't really... Well, if we got it, we would just sell it. And sell it to get more advanced components. Hmm. Maybe. I'll leave it up there for a little bit while I think about it. Let's see. Eel, could you actually work on the bed? Oh, Andy's gonna work on it? Alright. Well, that's fine. Andy, where are you? Well, I guess it's the morning now, so... As long as it's done before evening, whoever it is can go back to sleep in here. I think this was Maverick's room. Uh, where are you? Yeah, because there was the, um... Uh... Sculpture in there. Uh, but you're not jealous. There's not really any reason why you need that. Huh. Livia's made a masterwork. A masterwork bed. 
Lonesomeness with Maisie. All right. Engraving on this furniture depicts Maisie finishing a project of, with a gentle expression. Several smugglers watch with amazement. A gerbil is shown near the main subject. This depiction tells the story of Maisie becoming a master at cooking. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. I don't see how that um, commemorates that event, but sure. Why not? <laughs> Someone can sleep on that bed that uh, commemorates AZ becoming a master chef. So I guess... Oh yeah, so you just clicked over to 14. Huh. Neat. Uh, okay, well... Oh, Eel is working on this. Good. Getting a little worried that uh, nothing was happening. Might build another one. Four components. Yep, everything needs components. And thinking of just, I don't know, moving it around and just seeing what's what deposits we have. Like, although this is kind of within our base, it's a small one, so it's more likely that the really small deposits are plasteel, whereas the large ones are more likely steel. So, yeah, that might be a thing to do, is just pick this up and move it around and see what's, uh, what we can find. And yeah, maybe we'll just, we'll set it up there. Okay, they've almost got this mined out, but I think I got a tiny bit of overhead mountain, so... Um, we got lots of granite, we do. Well, we got lots of slate, too. Let's build it out of slate where some grab that. There we go. Just that might be far enough away, but no need to risk it. Let's just put that there. Support the overhead mountain and not get infestations. Yeah, where are you going? Oh, you're digging at the steel. Hmm. I kind of want this steel to be mined. I may have to kind of hopscotch between assigning steel and uh, deep drilling. Not that I mind that they prioritize uh, overhead, or uh, not overhead, above ground deposits, but I don't know. I guess someone else could work on that. Who are our miners, anyways? Buffy, Leslie, Maverick, and Eel. Well, maybe we should actually bump up a couple of these guys. Leslie, can work, have you going on art, and Buffy's not that great at it. But, she doesn't need to handle, because there are not any animals to handle. Let's, uh, let's bump you up m on mining at Maverick. And see what, what he literally worked on it for half a second, for one percent. Ah, uh, I guess someone just moved this in, and she decided, yeah, I should go get that done. All right, Maverick, what are you working on, anyways? You're cooking. Well, it's not bad, but hmm. Almost wondering if she kind of if I should go through and reassign priorities. Oh, I didn't realize we had uh, time on slow. Why is everyone moving so slow? What's going on? Yep, that would be why. Okay, well we've got everything in here built. Who's sleeping? Oh, no one's slept yet. So Trev has a minor break risk. Hmm. What else can we do to make money? I guess we can set up some grand sculptures and make it with granite. Um, yeah, let's we'll do a couple because we're going to need more blocks made pretty quickly, but uh, granite's the best stone to use um, if you want to sell art. 
is the highest value. If you want art for your colony, marble is the best because it has the highest beauty, but granite has slightly higher value. Just watching living Livy here as she builds the the next deep drill. Let's just see what uh, what we got under here. Hopefully it's plastiol. It's chemfuel. All right. Well, let's just keep moving it around. Gonna move it around to the smaller deposits. Yeah. And keep keep uh, prospecting, I guess. Well, we got one thing out of here. A little bit of silver came out. <laughs> oh, Maverick, I didn't actually want you working on this. I wanted you to I wanted someone to move it. Oh, Eel's cut chopping down that tree, so it can be moved over, and I guess Maverick's just decided to start working on this for a little bit. Alright. Well that's That's fine, I guess. <laughs> uh rather you worked on this one, Maverick. What are you working on right now? I'm playing horseshoes. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe what we can do... Um, I took a look at this. The item stash is over here. Maybe what we can do is we'll gather a bunch of guys, we'll run over, do it, and then run back to here to sell it and see whatever... Um, see if they've got some more advanced components and then come back. You know, maybe that'd be the thing to do, and I can take the dogs with us. Um, yeah, because it's 4,000 silver. So that will get us a whole bunch of advanced components. If we can just find someone to sell it to us. I mean, if we had more silver, we could also, you know, call someone uh, to get a bulk goods trader to come in. But... Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Let's see, because this is super slow. It's definitely been rebalanced, which is good. It was pretty broken before. Oh, let's see. Chem fuel. Oh, man. <laughs> so much chem fuel. Uh, okay, there's. Let's try it over here. Yeah, so let's, maybe, yeah, uh, let's do that. Let's gather everyone and, uh, or gather the people that uh, we'd probably have run over to do that. This is a smallish deposit, probably, I don't know. Check things out. Oh, Lindsay's doing it right now. Let's go take a look and see what's here. It is gold. Well, I don't really need gold. We could sell it. Hmm. Too bad you can't mark on the map what you find. Oh, we got a raid. These sappers. Okay. It's been a while since we've had a sapper raid. There they are up here. What do they got? Some... Hmm. Sniper rifle. There. Okay. And someone is taking some drugs to start up. Well, um, hmm. The worst place they could come through is here. Alright, well, I think we're gonna have to deal with this next time. We're kind of at our time for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Let's deal with this next time. Take care.